Paget. I'm the Director of Research and Development for IOActive, for a Seattle-based security company, and this is my RFID clone. So, a lot of people are familiar with the use of uh, access badges to, to get into buildings. You can swipe the badge over the reader and the, the door unlocks and lets you in. Um, so what we've got here is a laptop and a standard RFID reader. If I swipe the badge over the reader, you see the light goes green, and that's the code inside the badge. I can take my, my cloner here. If I push this button, it puts it into learn mode. The green light means that it's detecting the card, and both lights have gone out to show that it's now grabbed the ID number from the card. And I can now push the playback button, bring it to the reader, and you can see the light goes green, and the code comes up again. This device will clone um, any hid access cards. There's about 300 million of these cards in circulation at the moment. Um, it's designed as a, as a teaching tool, designed to be hackable. It's going to be presented at the Black Hat briefing uh, with full schematics, full source code for the microcontroller. Um, hopefully get a few more people interested in RFID, give people some, some information about how it works, how to mess with it, get some more uh, pressure on these vendors to fix these lousy RFID implementations. These, these cards are intelligent. There is a, a, a microchip inside here um, that, you know, it has some processing power. Um, you can think of it much like a smart card. Um, it, it's very similar technology to a smart card. It just uses a different way of communicating with the reader. Um, anyone that's thinking of, of implementing an RFID-based system needs to make sure that they've got equivalent protections in it to a smart card. Um, as this system stands at the moment, I can walk past someone on the street, maybe stand next to them in an elevator, and I can grab their card ID and get into the building. Um, it's a very poor implementation and there needs to be some, some additional security implemented into it to, to, to make sure that attacks like this just plain can't happen. It's, it's not an acceptable situation. These things are, are as capable as smart cards and they need to have security that are equivalent to smart cards. 